furious at VH1. When I signed up for the show called Dating Naked, I didn't imagine that anyone would actually see me naked. <laughs> yeah, who the hell would have thought about that? Anyway, thanks for coming to see me on the set of my new reality TV show. Yeah, what's it called again? It's called People Getting Shot on Television. We're rolling! <laughs> Holy Christ! I can't believe I just got shot! On television! I can't believe it either! Hey! That's a nice vagina. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Tonight on TMI, Chris, Karuche, and Selena and Justin get back together while Mariah and Nick break up. Nicki Minaj gets more ridiculous and Gloria and Stefan gets a musical. All that and special guests, Ryan Bennett, tonight on TMI. Yeah. Challenged. So together they're deaf and dumb. You never take me out anymore. <laughs> so for deaf, I was thinking Selena Gomez or Meryl Streep. Um, and then for dumb, I was thinking Mark Mark Mark. Mark. Yes. <laughs> Who do we get to play Jerry Sandusky? Jerry Sandusky, he, he's not even in the script. I mean, at least he's not on page one. Well, he goddamn well better be if you want me to green like this, dumb. A romantic comedy without a pedophilic B story? What kind of crap is that? Come on. You got it, boss. I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. Okay, uh, I got a Western. Uh, no, Westerns don't make money. Just ask that McFarlane. 
Well, that's because they've never done one with New York accents. <laughs> Hey, Sheriff Rebelli! You want a shot of whiskey, eh? Hey? Oh, I can't drink of my booty, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Use on duty, and that means we can't roll around in the hay, hey! I ain't gonna do that because you're a whore! Oh! She is a whore! Oh. I'm a whore! Hey! Hey! It's like the next seven meets good fellas, huh? Yeah, and for the prostitute, we're thinking either Katie Holmes or Kurt. Uh, and for the sheriff, we're thinking Mark Waller. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got a bad one for you. Hit me with it. Imagine you're in a bathroom. <laughs> the air comes in many varieties. For Jack Marcus, it's coming one square at a time. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, is there anybody out there? Uh, I need some toilet paper. <laughs> Uh, hello? Uh, I need some TV! <laughs> hello? <laughs> hello? <laughs> it is 164 terrifying minutes of a man trapped in a bathroom stall without toilet paper. Okay, okay, I like it, meaning I hate it. But it needs something. Perhaps the man could attempt to do the poop walk. Uh, the poop walk. Yes, when you walk hunched over with both your butt cheeks spread apart, as you look under the sink for more toilet paper. That's genius! Bingo. And if your ass cheeks touch, it's game over. We've all done it. <laughs> That's why America will butt. You better do some research then. Get Mark Wahlberg on the phone. There's a man with a poop walk. <laughs> yes, sir. It's a good, it's a good start. Anything else? Well, um... <clears throat> So I had, I had an idea, but I mean, it's really just too bad to even consider. Oh, please. I'm Michael Bay. No idea is too terrible for me. Now speak! Okay, well, um, I was thinking, well, what about a sequel to Transformers with Mark Wahlberg? Oh, that's truly awful. I love it! You're green light. Yes! Zoom! <laughs> <laughs> Hello!
know, because there's something special I want to ask you. Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Chris, I'm so happy! Yes. Just move in, at least. Just move in with me, at least. It's great. Uh, anything I can help you find folks with? You look at me, fucking motherfucker! I lit it! <laughs> <laughs> Soccer League? That's dope. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay, okay. I see. Right, I understand your question. That's the MLS, not the AL. It's two different things. <laughs> oh, okay. Again, I apologize. All you white people sports look alike. <laughs> <laughs> Team to Kill For <laughs> came out this week and uh, it's getting pretty horrible reviews. Oh, I'm sure it'll be a huge hit. Oh, yes, and speaking of hits, the hazelnut farmers are taking a hit right now. Oh, because, no. Yes, we are in a hazelnut shortage. No. Oh, it's so sad. I wonder what the world will look like after a few years. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody thought of me. Nobody thought of old Mike. Nobody said, hey, Mike's a fun guy. He's okay. 
everything. I bet you he'd make a fun ice bucket video. Nobody said that. <laughs> I'm sure that they, they meant to challenge you. They just forgot to tag you on Facebook. Oh, no, no, I scoured it. No nominations for me. Maybe they think I'm not cool enough. Maybe they think I just hate charity. What about Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest? Yes, 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 and no, no, no. <laughs> Challenge yourself. I mean, this for charity. Challenge myself. Come on, you don't allowed to do that. It's like asking your mom to the prom. <laughs> <laughs> we can dub you into our videos and more hashtag you. It's too late. It's not too late. Why don't you just donate money? Because it's not about donating. Who cares about that? It's about making a big show in front of everybody in a viral campaign like everybody else is doing. So that you can show your friends on Facebook from elementary school how much better you are than them. <laughs> oh. God, I'm a loser. Hi, I'm Sally Struthers. <laughs> Believe it or not, there are dozens of people suffering from the secret shame of not being nominated for the Ice Bucket Challenge. In the time it takes you to like a Facebook photo of what someone ate for lunch today, you can nominate one of these pathetic people for the ALS Challenge. <laughs> it's not going to cost you much, just a little of your time. But it's gonna make a huge difference in the lives of these pathetic losers. <laughs> Won't you nominate a loser today? <laughs> <laughs> And now, it's time for Jello Salad Gossip, the only kind of s talk show hosted by 1950s housewives. Let's give a round of applause, but not a loud one, because your husband is watching the evening news and doesn't want to be disturbed. For your favorite girls, Wilbeth, Dolores, and Mildred! Woo! Hello, and welcome to another episode of Jello Salad Gossip, brought to you by Talking Back. What did I tell you about Talking Back to me? It's my fault! It's my fault! Daughters of the Nile Women's Club, Dolores and Mildred. Good day. Hello. <laughs> well, ladies, I have chicken that's been battered with buttermilk for two hours and needs to be fried before dinner. So let's get right to it. What's the gossip going around the Jello Salad? Well, I'd say one of the biggest stories of the week is Monet Davis being the first female player in the Little League World Series. Women playing sports. <laughs> What's next? We can think for ourselves. <laughs> Tied up. 
with one dame. What are you talking about? This here's the Garden of Eden, and I'm the only dame on the planet. Now, eat this here apple. What? Are you loony? The big man said, don't eat the apple. <laughs> Just eat the begotten apple. Oh, you square, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm no begotten square. <laughs> <laughs> Original sin, sin, the very, very, very beginning. the ability to really capitalize on the likenesses for things like video games. Ah, oh, yeah, more people capitalizing on their dislikenesses in video games. You know, just like a Kim, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> okay. Uh, Took a while. Uh, she got there. <laughs> uh, Nicki Minaj's new uh, music video for Anaconda came out this week, and boy oh boy, it is a hoot. <laughs> Squatting, twerking, and shaking a big old booty with a bunch of other dirty looking girls. That's it. Like I said, it's a hoot! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Nick Cannon admitted that he and Mariah Carey have separated. Oh, yeah, apparently they've been living apart for months. What? So, wait a minute. America's got talent, but Nick's got no ass? Oh, oh. oh. it's cool. Yeah, he got there as well. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm doing it. Sorry, you're right here. Yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of breaking up, the Country Music Association actually broke up with Taylor Swift this week on Twitter when they tweeted her, good luck in your future endeavors. Well, yeah, I heard about that. I guess they're not happy about the new pop direction that she's headed towards. Yeah. It's not a hoop. <laughs> Yeah, well, with all these breakups, at least America's royal couple, Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez, have gotten back together. Thank God! God. <laughs> Any 
everyone and just has a complete and utter disregard of his own self-awareness. It's like someone who, who treats anyone and everyone like they're just pawns in his evil, evil game that has zero consequences. A real man in the body of a really, really ripped 14-year-old girl. <laughs> hey, yo, um, Jess, give me the keys to the Lambo. Oh, you're too late, little twist. Little Zara already took them. Damn. And I was going to go drag racing with some piaches. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take my credit card and buy another one. And also, buy some eggs. I'd like to throw them at my neighbor's house later. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> swag, swag. Swag, swag. <laughs> You know, I'm really turned on right now. Do you want to go to your house and uh, you can make love to me in that special way that only you do? Like, you mean for 22 seconds and then I fall asleep while you leave quietly? Yeah, let's go. Okay, let me use the bathroom first. <laughs> TMI presents a dramatic reading of the lyrics from Nicki Minaj's new hit song, Anaconda. <laughs> this dude named Michael used to buy motorcycles. Dick bigger than a tower. I ain't talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me play with his rifle. <laughs> Pussy puts his ass to sleep. <laughs> now he calling me Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> he tossed my, toss my salad like his name, Romaine. And when he's finished, I make him buy me Romaine. I'm on some dumb shits. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Man in America. The reality show with too much reality. <laughs> You can go home early. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Miss Moran, may I ask what you're doing? Yes, I am getting ready to go to the club. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Miss Mariah, you and Nick just broke up two days ago. I think it may be a little soon. You don't understand, Isabella. I have to. I must meet new and younger men, or I'll... I'll You'll what? I'll die! I don't understand. <laughs> I... I have been forced to... I must... I'm forced to go and suck the youth off a younger man. <laughs> what? Yes, I have to, I must suck the youth off a man to stay alive. But, but, but why? It's a long story. Oh, well, that's okay. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> well, it's okay. I don't mind. You can come back. Well, that was sense. Yes. Please sit down. Relax. Thank you. <laughs> Dramatic lights, please. <laughs> <laughs> From a long time ago, in a worn, torn place called Strong Island, I was cursed by a gypsy woman. <laughs> she said, she said that if I didn't suck the youth off of younger men, I would age horribly. <laughs> I didn't believe her at first, but it all started happening so, so quickly. One moment I was releasing all I want for Christmas, and then the next I was covered in wrinkles. I, 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 I didn't know what to do. I, it started off so heartless. I just invited the pizza boy in for a couple of drinks, a little martini shaken with insure, a couple of soft, chewable foods, and then I'd grab him and I'd suck the youth out of him. It was a rush, <laughs> and I couldn't stop. And then I met Nick, and he was so young, I thought I'd never age again. But every night I'd suck the youth off of him all night long. <laughs> However, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Now, and now, and he annoyed me so much at America's Got Talent that I just had to go. We had to go. Oh, Isabella, I'm a monster. Ugh. It's, it's okay, Miss Mariah. It's, it's, don't be upset. There are literally thousands of women like you. Really? Yes, they are called cougars. Really? Where can they find these women? At your neighborhood shakies. <laughs> oh, Isabella, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. Don't hurt me. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh. Actually, could you give me a ride? Because at night my vision is totally shit. Okay. <laughs> College Sports Preview Day. That's right. And with the Ed O'Bannon lawsuit lingering over the NCAA's threshold hold on making money off college athletes' likeness for commercial expenses, some of the air. Now, college athletes using their own likeness to, to profit from it? I mean, what's, what's I mean, next? What are they going to do next? Salaries? <laughs> ah. <laughs> but enough of the controversy. Today, it's all about the game. And our special guest is hot shot new Duke basketball recruit Jaleel Okafor. Hey, Mike. Mike. <laughs> We're happy to have you here. So if you're headed to Duke to play for Coach K, you're going to be alongside uh, your high school teammate Jabari Parker. Did that influence your decision at all? Oh, uh, well, I'd like to talk about that. But uh, first, I would like to tell everybody out there in America that if they go to my website, they can get my new Jaleel Okafor brand Oakley sunglasses. Okay. For everybody out there looking at TVs with no screens or radios, I just put on, I just put on a very stylish pair of sunglasses. They sweep. Yeah. They are sweet. <laughs> how, how are you able to do that? 
and a better baby with this new decision all us players can get paid for my images all right can we uh geez, let's just talk about some basketball huh right, well right. we can talk about my new brand of basketball shoes <laughs> 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 Athletes like you who are ruining the sanctity of, of college sports. I mean, is there anything in life that isn't commercialized these days? Really? And on that note, I'm wondering if the good people in the Edo Bannon lawsuit use LegalZoom.com in their fight against the NCAA. That's a good point. LegalZoom.com, a proud sponsor from Mike and Mike, ESPN Radio, and ESPN2. <laughs> LegalZoom.com. <laughs> Taylor, uh, as your manager, I unfortunately have some bad news. Uh, your new song, Shake It Off, wasn't as well received as we were hoping it would be. <laughs> okay, no. Uh, I, I said it wasn't well received. It wasn't. <laughs> You're getting a lot of very harsh criticism for straying from your country roots and having more popish sound. And that rap thing you did in the middle of the song, that was weird, okay? It turned a lot of people off. Well, I don't know what to say. I guess I just want to thank my fans. They're wonderful, and they're just, they've been amazing through this whole process. Are you high right now? <laughs> Seriously, are you stoned? Did, did you not hear what I just said? I'm not bullshitting you here, okay? Uh, the new album's going to be a disaster. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I know what'll work. Um, you know that boy that you're really into? Uh, he called. He said that he wants to get serious with you. Okay, now I know you're bullshitting me. No guy wants to get serious. Uh, they really don't. I'm so insufferable. You really are. <laughs> Strange 
and, and, and stupid. I'm, I'm so scared. Hold, hold me close, Mr. Brooks. Don't so touch close. me, Sam. Why is my hair? Give me my car. Watch as Peter Jackson, the man who could get three movies out of the contents of a Denny's late night menu, spin this fantastical tale of wonder. Lo and the very pale has left us here to die in Mordor. There's nothing really left to do except maybe kiss. What is your problem, Sam? <laughs> Go, munchkins. <laughs> <laughs> I just saved Middle Earth by giving all the orcs chlamydia. <laughs> she saved us all alone. I like out. What? Oh my god, seriously, your friend is really fucking creepy. <laughs> need my blow, okay? Somebody told me that this guy Sauron has it. Okay, wait, do you guys have chapstick? My lips are like really dry. <laughs> chapstick? Ripple? Anyway? The low hand of the rings. Coming this fall and next fall. In the fall after he calls love, God damn you, Peter Jackson. <laughs> I think it's time for the experimental treatment. Ladies and gentlemen, a stunning turn of events here at Emory University Hospital. Doctors could have called on immunologist uh, Ben Roth from the great state of Texas. They could have also called on Colorado's own virologist, Dr. Nancy Sturman. Or uh, infectious disease specialist, Dan the Man Sharp, hailing from Tucson, Arizona. Instead, they decided to go with this man, our next guest, Ryan Nemeth. Woo! I'd like to discuss uh, how you took the Intercontinental Championship last Sunday at Staples Center. Uh, not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my older brother. So I'm just kind of surprised that you, you of all people, would know that. My apologies, my apologies. Okay. You don't have to apologize, however, for your two World Championship belts. Also, not me. Do you work in wrestling? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, uh, but surely you broke. The Wolverine himself, Hugh Jackman's job during Monday Night Raw. That's not me, you have it backwards. Is this plugged in there? <laughs> <laughs> so let me get this straight. Okay. You don't hold the Intercontinental title. No. You are not a world champion. No. And you've never even broken Hugh Jackman's job. <laughs> no, I didn't do any of that stuff. Well, then let me ask you this, sir. Okay. What do you feel qualifies you to take on the mighty Ebola virus? Okay, okay, Gene. That's a good question. Uh, there's guys out there like uh, superstar Dolph Ziggler, my older brother, two-time world champ. He goes out there every night, night after night, week after week, wins match after match, title after title, championship after championship, and he blows people away with his special blend of athleticism, speed, power, strength, and in-ring intelligence. But Gene, he can do all that. But can he also scientifically Examined over 600 strains of infectious diseases. Over 600 strains of infectious diseases, and use that information to come up with the perfect chemical cocktail compound to eradicate and destroy the Ebola virus. I said, eradicate and destroy the Ebola virus. I know there's a lot of med students out there tonight. <laughs> Woo! I hear you guys. I mean, there's a lot of ones there. There's a lot of doctors out there, a lot of research scientists, a lot of very sick people, and I care about you guys, and that's why I'm here tonight. And I know what you're thinking. You're all thinking in your mind is Ryan Nemeth. Former WWE superstar, gonna come here and do what he does best and eradicate and destroy that Ebola virus. <laughs> That's just the beginning, Gene. Just the beginning, because the common cold, the flu, all you infectious diseases, you're all on my list. And I'm coming for you all. Now, Gene, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Best of luck. But if you'll excuse me, I need to find a microscopic disease and beat the shit out of it. <laughs> Okay, sisters. I this guy's body, grab Ebola by the neck, and whoop the shit out of it like his mother should have a long time ago, and pin him one, two, three, right in the middle of this ring, right in the middle of this hospital room. What's going on, you guys? All right. So, where is he? Where is he? All right.
Folks, I hate to show yourself, Bola. Come on! In all my years, folks, of watching professional wrestlers perform medical procedures, I have never seen a struggle like this one. Hey, Brian, they must do it. Hey, Mr. Hey, Brian, they must do this. Rock 
Rocky the Movie and Tupac's music would also make good Broadway shows, comes the Gloria Estefan musical, Conga.